everybody, Kelly Sue from Cleopatra Art Studios here and we have a very exciting design um, that is in our new shop and I wanted to put it together with you. It's a tiered tray and it's Halloween. And if you guys think, oh my gosh, lady, it's too soon. Well, I gotta tell ya, we have to work a couple months ahead at minimum to keep up with everybody. And besides you wanna have enough time to get this all together, I'm trying to whoop, whoop, boom. So when you join, when you come on, tell me where you're watching from. And swipe left, swipe left. It doesn't like it when I swipe left. Um, and is it too soon for Halloween? I don't know. I like to have time to enjoy it. So this is a tiered tray set. Um, what is a tiered tray set? It is four three or four mini projects and a couple extra goodies that look really good on a tiered tray in the truck or a couple other things. So the great part about this project is Sabrina painted it for me. Um, I'm just putting the type of glue I'm using here so you can see. So Sabrina painted it for me. All I did was come back behind and put some dots and stuff like that. Um, but this is so stinking cute. I just thought we could do this together. So. If you join in, just say where you're watching me from. And, you know, I never think it's too early for Halloween ever. Let me just write something. Okay, so I also wanna know if, if you order a kit, if I'm giving you enough glue. So I have one set of glue here, and I'm gonna show you a little trick. So I just have a wet wipe. I'm just gonna place right here. I might run out of room. I, I'm just gonna take my glue and a paintbrush that has seen better days and I really want to, you know, not, you don't want to use your best paint brushes because you're just going to toss it. So I'm just popping on some glue. You don't want to over glue or it glides, meaning you think it's in place, you go and you top off your martini and you come back and you guys, it's, it's like whoop, all over the place. So my little trick was I just bounced it real quick on the um, wet wipe. I'm just gonna press down for a second. It just needs a minute. Just give it a minute. And just gonna rinse and repeat. If you put up too much glue on, what's gonna happen is it will also ooze. As you can see, what that it did there. I may come back and do a little bit of um, distressing on the outside of these letters. And I don't know if you can see or not, but I got got something there um there is engraving on here so I know exactly where to put the word so I don't know if you get all in your head about whether it's supposed to look that way if it's off center but this makes it a lot easier and I'm glad I'm doing this because when I was wrapping up the other ones I was like John we're missing a candy corn and a spider and he's like, lady, I gave them to you. Well, guess what I found them. We'll have to cut new ones though. See, that goes, that works pretty quick. So that's the first, whoop, is that all? It looks naked. Oh, we got some accoutrements here that are super cute. Candy corn, and I gotta tell you, I'm not a fan of candy corn, though I adore candy pumpkins. And these itty bitty bats, probably the cutest bats in the world. <laughs> the only bats that deserve to be in your house as far as I'm concerned. So I believe we're only gonna do two Halloween tiered tray sets. This being one, and the other one, if you haven't seen, is the coffee one. It's Halloween and coffee. And it's like, um, the little signs read, I'm scary without my coffee and fresh booed. Oh, <laughs> oh you got me. Fresh booed um, coffee. Just hold them down for a second. So that's one of the little signs. Super simple to put together. Um, I'm making sure I have enough glue. Let's go ahead and start the next. It's just a really a tile. I'll put my paint numbers or my paint colors down. It's a cheap 
just in case anybody wants a um, paint kit, I know what to give them. Or, you know, one of my helpers can help. So what is your favorite Halloween candy, guys? Mine is weird. I only really like dark chocolate, but at Halloween, I really, really want an almond joy bar. I know, what sense does that make? So if you're just joining, I'm putting glue on and then dabbing off the extra just one time, just a little trick. It's a wet wipe. I'm using Tight Bond Quick and Thick. Um, you can use uh, E6000 or Gorilla Glue. What I found, it was my glue of choice until I found this or the Dollar Tree to the rescue. Their wood glue is really good. Um, surprising. Surprisingly, it's very good. Um, but the, the E6000 does, um, it, what am I trying to say? When it dries, it's glossier than the paint. There's an easy fix. What you can do is just spray everything, which I really like to do. Um, I just grab like a, um, this one is Cryolon. Minwax has one called uh, Poly Acrylic and it's really good. Oh, Susan likes the tiny Twizzler set. You get during the Halloween. It's, so the flavors are different. Okay, so this is gonna go at the top. It's just gonna line up. Just whoop, take it off. I already see I have a big glob. The great thing about this glue is it dries. It's very similar sheen to the um, paint. So I've been very, very happy with it. And I keep you guys all up to date on what my favorite product is. The one thing I don't love about this is it's not available, number one, in a larger size for me because, you know, we're using a lot of them. And it'd be nice just to fill up bottles. And then I can only really find it at Walmart, at Lowe's, and on Amazon. So I'd like to see it find it in a larger size for me, personally. Uh, I find it cheapest at Lowe's. It's five something. But you can get a lot of projects done if you're just using it at home. Okay, so there I go, I started talking and I did not take the extra off. So I have a little seepage, which is really a nasty word. Okay, so I'm gonna follow my own instructions here. And I have some dots, so I'm trying not to cover, well, I'm gonna cover up that dot. I can always come back and add more. And that one is stinking cute, guys. Look how cute that one is. So that's project number two. I wanna make sure you guys can still see that. Boom. And then here's the third big project. Most of them come with a banner. Um, I'm having to work on a banner for the mermaid tiered tray, I noticed. So I do get a little behind with the painting. So it was really wonderful. Um, my daughter Sabrina has always been a fantastic artist that she painted these for me. She's like, mom, what can I do to help? I was like, ah. Way too much, I think we can all agree, man. She really went after it with the glue. So I'm just gonna build my cauldron. Just stick with me here for a second. It's super cute. It's super duper cute. Sabrina did an excellent job. See how it's coming together? Adorable. I got some bubbles and I put some dots in my bubbles. So it's bubbling right out of there. I'm gonna 
to just press for a second. So I did try a different type of wood glue this week. Um, no, don't grab this. It really requires you to clamp. I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for something like that. See how quickly that adheres? And then if you decide to do the Dollar Tree, it's even faster. So kind of make sure you know exactly what you're doing, where you want it. So I put little dots on the bubbles. So cute. And so Sabrina won some little extra points with us, with me specifically, by doing this. And I wasn't, I didn't even ask, guys. I didn't even ask. It makes it so much better. So you don't have to get glue happy. Like, don't over glue. It's not kindergarten. And it's not Elmer's glue with the water base. You know, that stuff doesn't work very good. This stuff is great. We're not looking for it to seep out at all. Little seepage. So I only include the glue if you are doing a paint kit. Most of us, most of us have all of the paints we need at home. Some of you guys live out in the boondocks and it's just inconvenient for you to go get paint every time you order a project and sometimes I, you know, you say, hey, send me a paint kit and then we, we, we're gonna send the glue just so you don't have to fuss. Oh, I forgot to put eyeballs on him. We can say Sabrina, I forgot. Sabrina! How cute is that one? That one's really cute. Yeah, I'll come back and do it. Never fear. Okay, and then there's lots of little stuff. And what do I mean by that? The banner. So the banner, and I found the best string. It was in a pack. Look at that. It's gonna look really, really good for my Halloween. Spooky ooky banner. And then I had a question. Typically the banner has four and this one has three, which is fine. I was thinking about putting two or three tiny wood balls in between them just to gain a little bit of space, make it look a little bit more finished off. Do you guys think we should do that to say yes? Give me all things, no, never mind, that's gonna come out wrong. Um, yes, definitely with the balls or no. So we would just include that. I always have three million wood balls here at the house. <laughs> Different sizes, but I'm thinking, you know, big enough that the, the string or jute can get through. So all I'm doing is I'm trying to line them up. Oops. And I have mine stopping right on the black line, just so that they, you know, have some uniformity. I'm kind of curious what you think. Do you like the banner just the way it is? And what do I mean by, oh, it's a banner. I have one. Let me take this one down. Okay, so here's our B banner. And typically, um, I like them to be about this long, which is, let's guesstimate, like a foot, 10 inches to a foot. This is a lot shorter, but I thought, oh, if we put a couple balls in between, it would just fill that gap, but maybe we don't need it. And that string's gonna be flipping, fracking amazing. I love that string. This was just at the Walmart, people at the Walmart in a multi-pack. But I'm not done yet. Typically, it would be three or four and a banner. This one has one, two, three ghosts. It's like a little family. It's a papa and a mama and a baby ghost. I'd need three more ghosts if it was my family. And then 
here is a little accoutrement. I'm gonna have him climbing up and off a little bit. His eyeballs are a little, his eyeballs are a little off. You weren't gonna say anything. And I'm gonna have to touch that up, which is fine. Okay, and then the middle one has the candy corn. And finally, Baby has a couple bats. He's batty. <laughs> All right, and so I did find a, out a question, or an answer, excuse me, to my question, will I have enough glue that I send you? And yes, you probably could put one more together, and that's all the glue you would need, so that's good for me. Okay, also that comes with this are stands. Oop, so I went and grabbed two of the wrong stands. Okay, figures. So they're supposed to go one up, one down, and they go like this. So here's a little one for maybe this one. That way, yes, that way you can still see the legs. I would paint this black for sure. And then I would probably use this bad boy on the trick or treat. But remember, this was a good reminder for me to make sure when I'm grabbing things to grab the right pieces. And then this one you will glue on. So you're gonna glue it right on top of my letters. I line it up with the bottom. I glue it in place. Once it's dry, I glue this in place. Oopsie. And it, it works as a stand. So an angle stand. And that way it's touching the bottom. So you could really put, um, you don't have to follow along that way. Um, here's my inspiration photo. And I think it came out really, really cute. So I just wanted to take a minute and put that together with you. And see what kind of surprises we had. So I did have a surprise. So I went ahead and wrapped up a couple. So I'm going to go unwrap them and make sure they have <laughs> the right pieces. And then I owe my husband a huge apology because apparently I stole his candy corn and his... Um, spiders and a whole bunch of bats. I mean, this is what I had left over. Oh yeah, we painted them. <laughs> we were really, really doing a good job. We were going for it. Um, I'm gonna owe him an apology because those I stole from other kits. So, oops, I will be eating crow tonight because <laughs> he was sure that he gave them to me and I was sure that he certainly did not. <laughs> but you know, and that's what happens between John and me. Um, anyway, you guys have a really good night. And I hope you like this project. And thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.